Nancy DeWeese, uh, Martine Ginsburg, Bob Hampton. Do, does Jane Sanford half raise her hand? Is that how it works? <laughs> Dr. Morris Holmes, Mary Lou Kelly, Morgan Lyons, Rudy Polito, Rabbi Keith Stern, Michael Williams, Gordon Boswell, Doreen Elliott, Toby Goodman, Debbie Head, Gene Hudson Boyd. Some of these people were here and left, and some were not here at all. <laughs> I haven't gotten there yet. Uh, Sarah Knapp. Really? I'm disappointed. Sharon Martin, Judy Smith, Peggy Troy, Carla Vogel. She's here. Uh, Reverend Luther Fielder. Sylvia Green, Paula Hightower. Bear. If you can't say howdy and raise your hand, I'm welcome. Bad. She, <laughs> yeah. Sheila Johnson. Here, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Ron Lee, Diane Patrick, Connie Snowden. Hi. So. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Tim Wallace. And we have two members that will be joining the board in January, is that correct? Which is Sally Keese and Steve Kilpatrick. All right, to all of those who are board members, thank you for your participation and involvement. We have some staff members uh, that I will introduce to you if they are here uh, and tell you what they do. Elizabeth Berry is an uh, assistant district attorney. Uh, Lana Carraway, legal assistant. Joyce Coleman is a case aide. Joanne Gaber. Welcome. <laughs> Secretary, Nancy Hagen, Executive Director, Mike Higgins, Detective. Here. <laughs> Annette Newman, Volunteer Coordinator. Welcome. There, we, there she got it right. Lisa Patterson, Caseworker. Sean Richards is a civil attorney with the DA's office. The rest of us are not so civil at all. <laughs> Scott Reeves, Clerk. Uh, Aldine, is it Aldine? Yes. yes. Saucer? Saucier. Oh, gosh, here, thank you. I'm glad you were here. <laughs> you would have never known who I'd introduced if you'd have been gone. Uh, Shelly Thurman, caseworker. James Warman, detective. Hello. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Hello. Wow. Shauna Williams, caseworker. And uh, Kitty Newburn. Nurse, where's Nurse Kitty? There you are. <laughs> the Victoria Mission is also a nurse. They're just joining us, uh, most recent additions, I suppose. Uh, before I introduce two speakers, I want to spend one more second to recall one of these names I've mentioned, and particularly thanks Na Nancy Hagen for a tremendous job as an executive director to get it to this stage. You're doing a great job. two guests with us that we have agreed to say a few words, and I'd like to first have Libby Watson, who is here on behalf of Mary Granger in the city of Fort Worth. Uh, CAM is a countywide project, um, and Libby is here, and her job as assistant manager is also in, uh, the assistant city manager in charge of the police department. I know that that's one of your departments. You may have more. But if you would uh, uh, come forward, please, and, and address the group, please. Thank you. I'm really pleased to be here this evening and forgive my notes, but these were remarks that the mayor had wanted to share with you and heaven forbid I shouldn't get them right. Um, mayor Granger was really so very disappointed that pressing business came up with the sale of GD to Lockheed just yesterday evening that prevented her from being with you this evening. Um, she is so very excited about this project. Um, some of the comments that she had, had wanted me to, to share with you were, were her observations and concerns that all too often in the past that law enforcement agencies, child protective services, the district attorney's office, we, we get caught up in the press of business and the need to conduct our business and we have overlooked the special needs of the abused children that the system that we have in place today all over the country are dealing with. And we require them to tell their stories over and over and over again in very cold adult settings. This project with its, its magic and its, its air of fantasy and its warmth of home is, is such a wonderful change um, in the way that we are going to deal with children. It, 
at the same time, I, I think having toured upstairs, you, you got some of the, the latest in technology in terms of the, the videotaping, the recording, and the ability to gather evidence and, and the kinds of materials that you need in, to successfully conclude the law enforcement end of the business that has to be conducted. In 1991, there were over 9,000 reports of child abuse in Tarrant County. I am appalled to be reading these numbers. Over 1,700 child physical and sexual abuse cases were investigated by Arlington and Fort Worth Police Departments, and many were referred to the Tarrant County District Attorney's Office for prosecution. The City of Arlington, Mayor Green, you really are to be congratulated on this beautiful facility. The City of Fort Worth is anxiously looking forward to the day when, when we can follow your wonderful lead and have a facility the other side of the county. So thank you very much for letting me share this with you. As I look out among the crowd, there are many people who are involved in this effort. And, uh, and I want to thank Bill Parker and Kroger for their participation. We had a ceremony the other day to thank them for the playground and the Home Depot that also participated. But uh, this center is in Arlington and open today, not by accident. Uh, it's in this site and here because this is a very much a can-do community. Uh, they got behind this very quickly. Uh, it, and you have people like Connie Snowden and Paula Hightower and that's probably all you need right there. You <laughs> but you have, you have one other asset, and that's a man I got to know a few years ago when we were working on the crime district. And I think you have a very valuable asset, and your mayor, Richard Green, who's going to address us at this time. Thank you, Richard. Steve. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate the introduction, Steve. And I, I, I am extremely pleased to be here for this occasion. Uh, some of my colleagues on the city council are here. You previously met Paula Hightower, who serves as the director of this uh, operation. Uh, Dixon Holman is uh, also uh, here this evening. Dr. Theron Brooks, who uh, is a pediatrician in our community, certainly very vital in the development of this center and provided great uh, input and support and encouragement about its getting started. Uh, our great uh, friend and corporate citizen, Bill Parker, has already been introduced, but I, he needs at least two introductions per occasion <laughs> in Arlington because of the great work that he does in our community. Selling groceries is a sideline of Bill Parker. <laughs> uh, uh, taking care of needs in the community, I think, is his number one uh, uh, assignment, and, and we're very much the beneficiary of the great uh, Kroger Company's uh, generosity in many other ways. Ken Luce, uh, whose uh, work has been complimented. I don't know if Ken was introduced earlier. He's the architect who made this place look uh, the way it does and so inviting for the purpose that it's designed to serve. But I, and, and I understand and, and certainly appreciate uh, Mayor Granger's uh, 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 need to attend to uh, the county's largest employer, who is new in our community as of uh, this week. And, uh, and I hope that you will tell her how much we missed her and that uh, uh, that her involvement and, and that of Fort Worth certainly does send a very strong message about uh, the unity within Tarrant County that makes services to our community possible that otherwise would not happen. They just would continue to go unmet. All of you here probably have some attachment and knowledge about this facility and what it does, uh, and so I won't try to describe its function, but I, I think that it's often referenced as dealing with children who are at risk, children who are abused, children who are in special need. And it occurs to me that in a larger sense, it's really the community and our society that is at risk when the life of a child uh, is interrupted to the extent that the kind of service that this uh, facility is providing becomes necessary in that child's life. And so it's not only a matter of addressing the need of that child and the family and the other circumstances and people that are involved with that uh, child, but it also is a significant, important uh, uh, function uh, for our community to not lose that valuable and vital member of our community. And without those needs being addressed, those needs of child abuse, dysfunctional family, and all of the rest that go into that, without that being addressed, then we run the risk of losing valuable citizens from our community and from our society, and very much uh, at stake uh, is our future as a result of that. Now, I see others in the room who provide services in our community, and taken all together, 
uh, we are much better off. And our greatness as a city and as a county and as great neighbors in the cities of Arlington and Fort Worth, the other cities of Tarrant County and the Metroplex, all are far better off because of the commitment and the wisdom and the leadership of people who are willing to do what is being done here. This is a great example of a community taking care of its own needs in a way that uh, is, uh, I think, a great model for other communities to follow. And so I'm very pleased uh, and, and represent these other council members and all of Arlington and saying to those of you who are doing the great work here, thank you very much for what you're doing, not only for the children that you serve, but for our community uh, in a greater sense than perhaps uh, uh, is often recognized. And uh, we very uh, much appreciate and are proud to be host to this very fine facility. We wish you well. We continue our commitment of support. I saw Charles Clawson here earlier. He's the director of, of uh, community development in our community and oversees the, uh, the application process for the community development block grant funds that Arlington has available, small amount, but yet can be used as is in this example to leverage the kind of financial support that is necessary to make something like this a reality and to make it happen. So Charles uh, kind of is the key guy in, in our city. Uh, for ongoing support, and uh, we appreciate him and, and that effort. I think that represents a continued commitment on the part of the city, the official city, and then the larger city is represented by all of you over here tonight. Thank you very much, and uh, Steve, uh, thank you for uh, your good service here today, and for doing a great job putting it all together. Thank you. Thank you. of our quote-unquote formal program, but I would just like to have everybody clap one more time for everybody's joint effort and the reality of this. <laughs> if you, there are refreshments, and if you haven't had a tour, there's many of us be happy to take you on a tour. Would somebody like to? Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.